Hello, my name is Casey, and today I'm gonna read this material called the coat, which is very very essential when you're studying NMC CBT test to become a UKRN. So this content is mainly for my self study, but I hope someone can take advantage of it. So. Let's dive into it. Um, it's from Nursing Midwifery Council. The code, professional standards of practice and behavior for nurses, midwives, and nursing associates. It says four P. Um, first, prioritize people. Second, practice effectively. Third, preserve safely. Fourth, um, promote professionalism and trust. It says, um, all standards apply within your professional scope of practice. About us, the Nursing and Midwifery Council exists to protect the public. We do, we do this by making sure that only those who meet our requirements are allowed to practice as a nurse or midwife in the UK or, or, not, or a nursing associate in England. We take action if concerns are raised about whether a nurse, midwife, or nursing associate is fit to practice. It is against the law to claim to be or to practice as a nurse or midwife in the United Kingdom, or as a nurse as nursing associate in England, if you're not on the relevant part of our register. It is also a criminal offense for anyone who, with intent to devise, causes or permits someone else to falsely represent them as being on the register, or makes a false representation about them being on the NMC register. Okay, let's skip this version part. Introduction. The code contains the professional standards that registered nurse, midwives, and nursing associates must uphold. Nurses, midwives, and nursing associates must act in line with the code, whether they are providing direct care to individuals, groups, or communities, or bringing their professional knowledge to bear a nursing and midwifery practice in other roles such as leadership, education, or research. The values and prin principles set out in the code can be applied in the range of different practice, set different practice settings, but they are not negotiable or discretionary. Our role is to set the standards in the code, but these are not just our standards. They are the standards that patients and members of the public tell us they expect from health professionals. They are the standards shown every day by those on our register. When joining our register, and then renewing their registration, nurses, midwives, and nursing associates commit to upholding these standards. This commitment to professional standard is fundamental to being part of the profession. We can take action if those on our register fail to uphold the code. In serious cases, these can include removing them from the register. The code 
sets out common standards of conduct and behavior for those on our register. These, this provides a clear, consistent, and positive message to patients, service users, and colleagues about what they can expect of those who provide nursing or midwifery care. The professions we regulate have different knowledge and skills, set out in three dis distinct standards of proficiency. They can work in diverse contexts and have different levels of anatomy and responsibility. However, all of those professions we regulate exercise professional judgment and are accountable for their work. Nurses, midwives, and nursing associates uphold the code within the limits of their competence. This means, for example, that while a nurse and nursing associates will play different roles in, in aspects of care, they will both uphold the standards in the code within the contribution they make to overall care. The professional commitment to work within one's competence is a key underpinning principle of the code. With given the significance of its impact on public pr protection, should be upheld at all times. In addition, Nurses, midwives, and nursing associates are expected to work within the limits of their competence, which may extend beyond the standards they demonstrated in order to join the register. The code should be useful for everyone who cares about good nursing and midwifery. Patients and service users and those who care for them can use, use it to provide feedback to nurses, midwives, and nursing associates about the care they receive. Those on our register can use it to promote safe and effective practice in their place of work. Employer Organiza organizations should support their staff in upholding the standards in their professional code as part of providing the quality and safety expected by service users and regulators. Educators can use the code to help students understand what it means to be a registered professional and how to keep and how keeping to the code helps to achieve that. For many committed and expert practitioners on our register, this code should be seen as the way of re reinforcing professionalism. Through revalidation, nurses, midwives, and nursing associates provide evidence of their continued ability to practice safely and effectively. The code is central to the re revalidation process as a focus for professional reflection. This gives the code significance in the professional life of those on our register and raises its status and importance of employers. The code contains a series of statements that taken together signify what good practice by nurses, midwives, and nursing associates looks like. It puts the interest of patients and service users first, a safe and effective and promotes trust through professionalism.